Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dark Souls 3. Today we're going to be continuing on from the door we opened last time for our shortcut and uh, make ourselves, hopefully, some progress. Uh, as we're getting there, though, I am going to go on a little bit of a rant because... Just today, I got the official Estes Edition official guide. Don't worry, I'm not reading it yet. I, I just wanted to have it uh, and to be able to read it after this blind playthrough is all taken care of. But as I was opening it, I was super, super excited because, hey, you're getting an Estes flask. Like, come on. Like, that's awesome, right? Like, a real darn live Estes flask. And so I open it up, and there's this cool little diary, and it looks actually really nice. Um, has the symbol of the dark side on it. It comes with this uh, really cool... Uh, let's check this out while we're ranting, just to see if there's some um, hidden passage. But yeah, so it comes with this magical uh, hidden... Or uh, this little... Um, what are they called? Bookmarks, uh, which is the sword of Artorius, or a similar sword to that. And that looks really cool. It's made of metal. It's awesome. Life is good in the world. The box it comes with is pretty cool. Then I looked at the guide itself, and the guide is actually a whole hell of a lot smaller than the Bloodborne guide, which, from the looks of it, is a darn smaller game compared to this. And I was like, well, that's odd. And I checked it, and it's made by... This guide is actually made by Prima, and all of the other guides have been made by Future Press. And, yeah, so I go and look at the best part of it, the Estes Flask, you know, the whole thing that you paid all the darn money for in the world. And it turns out you can't actually drink from it because it's hollow. Or, sorry, it's not hollow. It is translucent, which is exciting, but it's the wrong shade of green. It's definitely not emerald green. And the texture on it, you can actually see where it wraps around in the resin. So all of these things make me really disappointed because it was not the cheapest of things to buy. Luckily I got it on Amazon so it wasn't the, the retail price, but like yikes, what on earth are you doing Prima and why on earth FromSoft did you approve them to make the guide for your game? Like why would you do this? Um, so that's my rant. I felt I needed to say it because oh my god, this... Uh, Prima deserves zero respect um, for what they did with that. So, there we go. Now it has been recorded, and my complaints shall be voiced to the internet. Ah, uh, but let's go this way and continue on the game, because, hey, the game itself is... Oh, sweet god, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> That's how angry I feel. Okay. This is just great. Hmm, I wonder... So let's go down, because up doesn't seem to be a whole hell of a lot of good, does it? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But what are you gonna do? Uh... No. No, 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 no. This, see, this is what the Prima Guide is like. It's like this enemy. Just the worst. That's why it gets backstabbed. Oh, shit. And now I'm running from it, so I'm probably dead because it has longer reach. Uh, but that's okay. We can, we can do this. May the power of Christ compel you. Like, God help you. You are just the worst thing on the face of the earth. No, no, like, no. I say no to you. <laughs> to me, this enemy is equivalent to um, the Winter Lanterns from Bloodborne. Just no. We don't want to deal with it. And you give us a Titanite Shard which is completely useless to us right now, so I guess that I guess that fits pretty well with how much I hate these enemies that they give you, just something useless. Uh, but oh well. See, I'm in, a, I'm in a mad mood. We're gonna have to play some of this game to cheer up, I think. 
Ooh, deep gem. There we go, see? That's all you needed, just give me a new item. Now I'm happy again. Life is better. Infused to create deep weapon. A gem of infused titanite found in the dregs of the cathedral of the deep. Used to in used in infusion to create deep weapons. Deep weapons inflict dark damage, but lose scaling effects. There is a darkness that lies behind the human ken. Ken? I wonder if they meant to say kin? Because I have never heard kin used in a sentence like that. But maybe I am wrong... Sometimes they are just linguistical masters, and sometimes the import team just doesn't know how to spell, so you never really know. You get a mixed bag. At first second, I thought that was a... Hey! Thank God we didn't go uh, any further back, eh? Or that would have been just magical, probably, if we were fighting that uh, even Jealous, I think they were called, and then have that just hit you at the same time. That might have been the end of it. Uh, so I think we're gonna have to run, is the only way I see doing this. Yeah, hey? Or else we can... Can we do anything else? Because we ran outside, and that took us here. So I don't think there was any other path, so we're just gonna have to run like crazy and hope that we don't get smashed. Yeah, we're gonna grab it, we're gonna grab it. Yeah, we knew that was happening. Hey, stop what you're doing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fight you. Sure this is gonna work great, right? Can I even? No, you're too far. Uh but I can't dodge you. So we'll do that, I guess. Take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. You don't like us. Really? No, oh, I thought there was going to be a secret. That's okay. Um... Uh oh Oh, you can get in there. Okay, so much for such an awesome sneaky hidey spot. I thought I was doing good. Whatever, well, we're going to break another one of your lamps, because now, now you made us angry. I feel like a kid in a candy store whenever an enemy kills another enemy. It's just like the best thing possible. Uh, I don't think there's a way there. We're not gonna try it yet, at least. Maybe we can kill the guy first. Uh, where to go, what to do, where to see, how to be. This is a really dark place. Let's see if we can get a look-see at what we've got going for us though, right? Uh, doesn't look like there's anything yet. Look at that. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice ceiling. Someone had some money in this place. Take that down. Uh, let's see if we can climb up, shall we? Do -do 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 I love that flame effect when it's in a dark area. So now we're back with the Mr. Giant. So we're probably going to have to kill Mr. Giant at some point. But let's, uh... See if we can sneak away from... No! <laughs> Stop what you are doing! Oh, this one I'm actually... Hey, there we go! That, I think, is... I think that may be a record, because I don't think we have ever killed that thing before. Let's see if it has any other description than, um, what the gloves had. I don't think it will, though, right? Nope. Sent carriers. So is that just carriers of the dark side, and they weren't actually people before? Let's be really quiet. Maybe if we're really quiet, we will not die horribly. Oh, or maybe it's... Maybe we're just high enough up now. This is probably not a good idea, but... Oh, I can't break it? Nope. Oh, oh, Fire guy. Oh, so fire guy is probably gonna get in our way, though, when we uh, go down. So I am gonna try my best to kill it. But it knows I want to kill it, so of course it's not gonna let me. Uh, come on. You gonna... Nope, can't target you well enough. Hey, right, come on. Hey, there we go. 
I love when lock on actually works for you. It's fantastic. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's continue on from here. I think we might be able to pick the other guy off with magic, but I don't think we'd have enough magic to kill him. So I want to make sure we have another strategy before we do that. Doesn't look like we can do anything else here, though. That's weird. This area just leads to nothing? That doesn't sound right. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick roll through the area, and <laughs> I'll let you know if we find anything. Nope, doesn't look like there was anything else there that I could see. I feel like there must be something. But apparently we are not good enough to find it. So next time, maybe. Uh, I want to keep my torch up because, yeah, look at that. You can see one of them. There you go. I see you. Oh, I see you. Which means there's probably another, right? They always come in twos, yeah. Oh, in threes, okay. That's fine. Come on. You're done. One more of ya. I'll get you. You just don't even care. You're like, eh, don't worry, the giant's gonna kill you anyways. I, I don't need to do any work. I'm getting paid by the hour. Who cares? <laughs> uh, let's break the light. Because <laughs> why not? Oh, I see a sludgy. See, this... The torch is something you should always have on you, is a theory I have, because it has saved us so many times. And let's see what we get. Seek guidance. Ooh, that's uh, that lets us see more messages, right? Seek guidance. Reveal more help and signs without using ember. Oh, and signs. That's interesting. Displays more help from other worlds and reveals summon signs without using an ember. Faith serves as a guide for clerics, meaning they should have no need for second-hand wisdom. Be that as it may, this miracle has been passed down from soul to soul, providing a tiny ray of hope for the lost. That's really, really cool. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think it did that for the original Dark Souls. I think you needed humanity to be able to summon no matter what. So that's, uh, that's nifty neato. So we can go down here, and we can drop down, and then the beastie is through there. Hmm. So you think, you know what I think I'm going to do? We're going to, I'm going to fast forward this, you guys, but we're going to pick off the giant as much as possible. All right. And that does next to nothing, so, so much for that strategy. Alright, you guys, and we're back. Uh, Magic did absolutely nothing to that guy, so... Either he has a hell ton of resistances, or our magic is just not an effective way of killing giants. Either way, we're gonna keep on exploring. I see one thing that looks scary, so let's try that out. Uh, no, I don't want to heal. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. God darn it, lock on some days. Some days you work so well for a. Oh, what the hell did I just do? What is this? Stop what you're doing. Oh, he's like, leaves little landmines. That's really cool, actually. I approve of your methods. Oh, boo. Yeah, that's fine. Uh oh, that's not though. Um, let's do a quick healy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, let's do a quick healy. -oo. Hey, <laughs> I didn't mean you do a quick healy. -oo. That's okay. That's what you get for doing it. Look, and he's wearing a fancy dancy mask, ain't ya? All right, that was fun. Uh, let's see what we should do. Any items? Oh, there's a way up. That's exciting. I should probably be looking at the ceiling, because something's probably going to jump me, but we're not that smart. Mm. Yeah, so we have the choice of 
going up the stairs, or is this the giant path, or is the other one the giant path? Where? Uh, yeah, let's go up the stairs first. That looks scary. And if we're gonna die, we may as well at least know what's on the stairs, right? Oh, I see another one of them. Is this the... See, I don't know which one's the giant area. Yeah, okay, this is the giant area, so we're gonna wait on this one. Ah, oh, Longfinger Kirk. So that seems like it's probably an NPC, right? Probably? Maybe? Potentially? Either way, let's uh, find out. I would make sense because, uh, what's his face is the... Come on. Yeah, it's most certainly uh, NPC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you use me. Come on. Do something. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do something. Stop that. Uh oh Wah, wah. Come on. Ah, oh, your <laughs> stupid little roll. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll figure out what to do. What is that? That's fine. There you go. Get some more hits off and roll. Get some more hits. And you're gonna... Nope. I thought you were gonna heal, but you're dead either way, so, ha, take that. That's what you get. Dark spirit destroyed, barb, straight sword, and a spiked shield. Perfecte. Let's, uh, take a look-see at these familiar items, shall we? Spiked shield, we could actually equip it. 91 physical, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, shield of Long Finger Kirk, the notorious Knight of Thorns. The surface bristles with thorns. Its vicious design makes it an effective weapon, and its thorns can inflict heavy bleeding on those unfortunate enough to be struck. Shield Strike. Use shield to attack enemies. Work well equipped in either hand. Whoop doop ba doo. Barb Straight Sword. Sword of Long Finger Kirk, the infamous. Blah 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 blah. The sword's blade is lined with countless deadly thorns. The thorns of this ominous weapon induce heavy bleeding, and it has stance. We didn't actually, uh, let's see. Scales, D, D, does some bleed. Nothing, nothing all too, too fancy, though. So, let's continue, not that way. <laughs> I don't even know what way we're going anymore. That's good. And then there's this way, too. Oh, well, let's take a look at what this path holds. I think this is going to take us close to the giant, though, right? Maybe? Oh, no. This is entirely different. And really creepy. And there's a chest. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Uh. Let's take our torch out. And look, this one, the chain's broken, or it's bleeding into the thing. So, let's clear out enough path that we can actually fight in. No enemies fall down. Okay, fair enough. Let's, um. Let's take a look. Oh, shoot, it is. Okay. Oh, it, I didn't see it grab me, but that's fun. There we go, we're gonna... Shit, I didn't think you could get me there. I just need health! <laughs> Please, let me get my health first. Then you can go on to do whatever horrors you want to do. We're gonna heal again because that's an instant death attack, and we don't want an instant death. There you go. Mwah to you too. That's what you get for being a trickster. Deep Braille Divine Tome. There we go, I like that. So we can learn some dark stuff. Uh, learn Miracles of the Deep. A Braille Divine Tome of the Deep belonging to the... Dracons of the Cathedral. Give this to a storyteller to learn Miracles of the Deep, intended to teach divine protection to the Dracons of... I think it's Dracons, I'm not sure. Might be something else. Of the Deep. But later, dark tales were added to its pages, such that it is now considered a thing profane. Hmm, cool. Uh, I think that was everything there, but let's do just one last double check. 
This is another altar that looks exactly the same as the other cleansing altar, so they're doing something shifty here. That's for darn sure. That is for darn sure. But either way, I should... Oh, look, you can keep on going up. Okay. So maybe this is the way we were supposed to come. I just don't know where it is. Let's take out this. Hmm, where are we? So we're just on top of the room where we were. Have we? Oh, this, we've been here, right? I just didn't. Oh, we have been here. Okay, I just didn't explore that room before, I guess. Good to know. So yeah, we came from the top, so blah, blah, blah. We can get all the way back down. Neat. So let's go explore straight ahead, and then we'll go to Giant's Path. Or maybe we will level up and then go to Giant's Path, or who knows. It'll really depend on just what we see. This looks safe, right? Oh yeah. I'm sure nothing's gonna... <gasps> what are you? What are you? What are you? You are scary. What is this? Is this Bloodborne? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> Stop what you're doing, please. Please, sir. I don't want this. This is a really cool spider demon thing. I don't know exactly what it is. I feel like we should heal, though. Uh-oh, that might be a bad time. What are... See, I'm not sure what the colors of everything are. Like, is that poison? Oh, it's Toxin, I think. Maybe it's Poison. I don't know. Either way, that was scary. <laughs> Let's see what you drop. Ultrich Sapphire. Ultrich's Sapphire, I guess. Recover FP from critical attacks. A malformed ring left by Ultrich, Saint of the Deep. Oh, that's uh, the Lord of Cinder. Hmm. Recovers FP from critical attacks. Ultrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shutters of life while luxuriating in his victim's screams. Oh, that's good. This guy seems like a fun little, uh, fun little dude, hey? I'm sure we'll have some great fun with that. And an ember for our trouble. Ah, okay. Cool. That was, uh, that was scary. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know how we have not died yet, to be quite honest with ya. It seems like we just keep on surviving, but I think this giant might do it for us. Uh, we're gonna check this side of the world. I don't... I think we're gonna go back to the bonfire and level up, though. Before we do anything else. Oh shit, it's another giant. Well then. Very well. Be on your way. Uh, continue doing what you giants like to do. This is... Well, this is gonna be some fun, I'm sure. Uh, but maybe we can get a short... God darn it, I hate you! I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> I just hate everything in this. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that right now. I want to find a shortcut, to be honest. Oh, but you're coming for me. But I think we might have found the shortcut. Maybe? Or is this going to be just a path of death? You just don't know. It's very dark. We got more of the little swampy creatures, so that means that I think we're on the base level now, right? Maybe? Why? Why message why? Nope, okay. Ooh. 
yeah, we don't want to deal with you right yet. So we want to find out if we got a shortcut. I'm getting scared. <laughs> we might be so close to safety that I have to be scared. Okay, wait, so one of these doors is good and one of them is bad, probably, right? Hopefully we got the good door. Hmm, okay, that's one door with... And what's this door? Come on, shortcut door. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna level up, and then we're gonna take care of the rest. I'll be back, you guys. Alright, let's go give you a divine tome, shall we? Oh, what's yes. this? Champion of Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. These stories would not please you. Of course... If you insist, I will read them for you. Only... Oh, oh, they frighten me so. The little creatures that nibble at me in the darkness. So that's the exact same thing she said for that other forbidden tome. But uh, let's no, see if you have any new dialogue. Be if I have oh. terribly... Nope. All right, let's see what uh, we can get now. Ooh, Dark Blade. Miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Reinforces right hand weapon with dark. The third daughter, Lillian, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of hollows. Deep protection, miracle taught to inaugurated dracons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slightly boosts attack, damage absorption, and resistance while also increasing stamina recovery speed. I like that a lot. The Deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place, but became the final rest for many abhorrent things. This tale of the Deep offers protection for those who worship amidst these horrors. And gnaw. Dark miracle taught in the Cathedral of the Deep summons insect swarm to feast on foes. These insects, which lurk in the Deep, have tiny jaws lined with fangs to tear open the skin and burrow into the flesh in a blink of an eye, causing intense bleeding. Interesting. How much? Okay, so you need 20 for that. And these ones only require faith, so it looks like these... So it looks like all dark? No, not all darks. Um, some dark things need just faith. Some need faith and magic. Interesting. Have so things have changed up a little bit. Thank you. I'm gonna level up and we'll be back, you guys. All right, you guys, and we are back. Uh, I leveled up twice. I used a couple of uh, extra souls we had kicking around. And we leveled up twice in endurance. So now we'll have a little bit more stamina, which is fantastic. Uh, let's see what's down. Oh, I guess up here. This is cool. Where are we? Have we been here? crossbow guy. Oh, look, and we're um, right on top of the area we came across before. That's neat. I wonder if there's anything I can do up here. Probably, right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe some light. Maybe we should light up the situation. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's a really pretty vista of the graveyard. Cool. And now we can go on top here, so we can go... Ooh, we can go all the way to the top. So let's try that, because those giants still scare me. And when's going to a new area a bad idea? I see one guy, which means there's probably six guys, right? There we go. Have a good day. What does this do? Oh, deep ring. Hmm, so that guy was a special guy. Oh, maybe he maybe he was like bringing the guys back to life in the graveyard? I don't know. That's just wild speculation at this point. Allows attunement of additional spells. A ring bestowed upon the dracons of the Cathedral of the Deep allows attunement of additional spells. In the cathedral slumbers things most terrible, and as such the dracons require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty. A philosophy 
to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesqueries at hand. Cool. I like that place. I'm really curious to find out some more, uh, a little bit more lore on this place because it seems, it seems pretty darn important in the world. So can I, was that the place we couldn't go before was on here? Is that the one we could get to? That one looks like, oh crap. <laughs> that wasn't very nice now, was it? Hmm, well, how are we going to observe this place without actually observing it? These are questions. Um, I think that's the one we walked on before. So I don't think it would make much sense to drop down to it, right? Because that one... Oh, maybe it... No, maybe this is actually... Ah, whatever. This is... We're going to be finishing up the episode soon anyway, so we may as well try it, right? What does it hurt? Look at... Oh, boy. You know what I love? Fighting guys on ledges with arrow guys shooting at us. That's the best strategy. <laughs> what do we got? What's gonna drop on our heads? Something. Right? I hear something. Well, I hear that, but like, I hear... There we go. I knew something else was there. Hey! And a backstab. That's what you get for surprising me. I don't like surprises. Don't you know this already? Like, jeez, come on. What is this? Just here for fun? Looks like it. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, stop running. Uh, let's see if we can get up here. I don't think you'd be able to... Oh, but there is another... One of these has to be a secret, right? Can I... I can't jump up here, I don't think. Nope. That's a lost cause that way, but that's okay. Uh, let's continue on here and see if this is a short path or if this is a very long thing. Yeah, I heard you. Sound. Always, always important. And we got a creepy guy there. Okay. I'm sure there's another one of you. Where are you? Come on. Oh, look, I can get down that way. Okay, so let's fight this guy. I don't want to go too much further because I know we're going to get ambushed by something. But apparently we're going to have to try it, so we might be getting hit by something from behind us. Nope. Okay. I'll take it. Another path in here. Lots more items. Another path. Secret? Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay. Where's the guy gonna come from? There has to be another guy. We know there's at least one more guy. Right? The game doesn't do this type of kindness to us. I hear something. There is an armor guy coming from somewhere. Oh, but we're gonna have to kill ya. Sorry. I see the other one. There we go. Is there another one? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, a pale tongue. We've got one of those before. Okay, let's go get the other items. And that's, uh, I think, where we're gonna wrap it up, you guys. I hear something, though. No, hey? Eh? Hmm. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Uh, yeah, so let's go get the item down here first. Probably get hit by something. Yes. What is it? Where are you? I hear you. Where are you coming from, though? Hmm. You're probably gonna wait until we get the item, then you're gonna ambush us, right? I think we already have that weapon, but we'll try and take a look after. I can see an enemy. There, you are here. I wish I knew where you came from, though. But okay. Can't get down there. You have no item. Okay. Let's go get that last item. And that is where we're going to wrap things up. I'm pretty darn sure. Alright. Enemy with a thingamabob. 
How many more are behind us? That's fine. Take that. And... Nothing. Hmm. Odd. Odd. Aw, boo. <laughs> Has anyone been counting yet? How many times have we done that? Like 5,000 gajillion? All right. Cool, you guys. So let's take a look at what's in the hallway. We're not going to tackle it today unless it's the smallest of rooms, which it most certainly doesn't look to be. Oh, this is really creepy. And we're back inside. So you're going to shoot something at us, right? Yeah. So we are going to have to be awful careful. And, oh, we're aggroing too, because that's a smart idea. <gasps> oh my god, you're going to hit me off the edge. No, 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 no. And to our death we go. That's all right. We were ending the episode anyways. That's a good way to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, please leave a like or subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys next time in another episode of Dark Souls 3.